excited, I'm excited because today we're at Adventure Wreck. Adventure Wreck is kind of one of the epicenters of Mexican kayaking. We're gonna go do an easy section. We have about a 45 minute hike to get to the water. I'm gonna be in my kayak. Kathy's in this cool pack raft, fits in a backpack. And we are gonna go explore the jungles and rivers of Veracruz, Mexico. Here we go. We just made it to the river. This is a beautiful place we're in. We're surrounded by banana trees. There's a deep gorge right behind me, which is where we are walking down to get to the river. All right, we are on this steep trail through the jungle, headed down to the river left the bananas and now we're just in the native flora and fauna it's beautiful but it's really thick all right we're about I'd say three quarters of the way down I can see the water from here it's still very steep rocky there's lots of vines and roots um, it's a true jungle the water is gonna feel so good I can't wait to get in there and cool off all right we're gonna keep trucking all right we made it to the river boy it is smoking hot in the sun. Humidity is super high, but this river looks gorgeous. Looks cool and inviting. I can't wait to get in there. All right, we're about to put on. We're going downstream. down here in the bottom of this beautiful gorge. Maybe I call it a gorgeous gorge. Look at this place. There is a waterfall that is actually a spring that comes right out of the cliff. And it's 360 views down here. Oh, this, this is really spectacular. What's up here? It's a cave. Oh, cool. Supposedly, there's a really cool cave. Ooh. Get in there. They weren't joking either. There is a cave. This cave has water in it and everything. We're going into a cave that no one's coming out of. So we have just gone in a tunnel that goes way back to where there's either a waterfall or a bubbling spring, and then it curves back around through a whole separate tunnel. Very cool. Wow, what a great run that was. We're back here at the takeout. Our bus is waiting for us here to take us back to Adventure Wreck. And this 
was what they called the class two, class three float. I was afraid I was gonna be a little bored in my kayak, but there were some really fun rapids. There was a, a world-class scenery. I mean, it was so amazing. And these guys showed us a really good time. Hats off to Adventure Wreck, and I look forward to more in the next couple of days. What a great day. It feels good to be back on the water in my kayak. All right, and just like that, we're back on the bus, heading back to the lodge. Gracias. Good morning, Veracruz and Adventure Wreck. Had a wonderful sleep last night. It felt so good to get a lot of exercise yesterday between carrying my boat down into the gorge and then the awesome kayak trip we did. I sure sleep better when I've had a lot of exercise and driving and all the travel doesn't always do it. You kind of need that physical exertion. But here at Adventure Wreck, they do a breakfast in the mornings and Kathy's over here now and I'm gonna go check it out and see what they got. All right, we're over here at the Comida, the little dining room. It's made on this giant pergola. Beautiful, we feel like we're sitting on the edge of the jungle looking into it. And we had um, beans and fruit and cakes and fresh tortillas. It was really a good breakfast. But we've got about 30 minutes and we're going rafting again today. I'm gonna be kayaking and George and Kathy are gonna jump in the raft and hopefully we're gonna have another great tour here in the Veracruz jungle. All right, we've made it through a beautiful little drive down to the put-in. We're at the Alsaseca River, which is kind of a famous place for kayakers. There's a lot of very hard whitewater upstream of here, but it should be really fun. They said it's just gonna be big, splashy, fun rapids, and I'm looking forward to that, because it is warm, and I am ready to get in the water and cool off. Veracruz, this is a whitewater mecca. We're gonna paddle upstream from the put-in and go to a giant waterfall, and then we float back down. And I think he said we go about another 10 kilometers downstream to where the bus will be waiting for us and will pick us up there. Thank you, are you ready to go? Let's go rafting. I want the carbon fiber one. <laughs> <laughs> it comes with great responsibility. <laughs> okay, I don't want that one. <laughs> This is one of those magical places that you can only get to in a boat. I can't believe how beautiful it is back in here. There's this amazing waterfall. It is just unbelievably gorgeous. I feel so fortunate to have this opportunity to be back in here and see these amazing wild places. What an awesome day. That was so fun on the river. It was super cool. We saw an incredible waterfall and beautiful scenery, all kinds of wildlife. Amazing day. All right, guys, we're heading back. We're going to get dry and we're going to eat. Eat? We're yes. going to go get dinner. Let's do that. <laughs> all right. See ya. Bye. We're here at the Alsaseca River at the roadside section. Can be 
awesome. Can't wait. We just made it down the Alsaseca, the roadside section. This was um, probably about as low as it can be run. I don't know. Um, our guide, Luis, he was amazing. He showed us all the best lines. Some great creek boating here in Veracruz, Mexico. And I mean, from the other days, we had a great time just doing some really easy river running. This is a great place to come. If you want to escape winter and have some very warm, tropical whitewater, consider coming to Veracruz. We are stoked. We are just going to keep pushing on to more adventures here, but we've got some exciting options on the horizon and more kayaking down the line. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button and consider checking out our Patreon. Link is right here and in there you can get a deeper dive into what we do and gain access to our field guides, which will give you the inside scoop on planning your next adventure 
to either Mexico or Alaska or in the United States. We've got that new field guide to Death Valley. Check that one out. That's a really good one with some really cool secret spots in Death Valley. But until then, I hope I see you somewhere over the horizon. Take care, guys.